Well, it's a little warmer today, but it's still not summer. <laughs> Are you getting sick of hearing me talk about it yet? Oh, I'm getting sick of talking about it myself. Uh, so we won't. Let's not talk about it. Hey, um, I was working out the other day with a friend, and uh, he really got me thinking because he showed up with a, pro with a protein shake, uh, commenced to finish it, um, had some protein powder and stuff to mix up another one to drink while he worked out, and then had another one at the end of his workout. <laughs> like... What are you doing? He's like, well, gotta get lots of protein, build muscle. Um, and I'm just like, how many calories do you think are in that? And uh, this is the same guy that um, he wants to lose some fat and get some more muscle definition definition, uh, and get some stuff off his abs. And I'm like, man, are you ever being detrimental to your process right now? Why are you drinking so much protein? And why don't you get your protein from, first of all, regular food instead of from just shakes that don't fill you up anyway and how much how many calories do you think you you eat in a day with all those protein shakes um you know so he really got me thinking because i have a, actually i know a lot of people that do this and i nag a lot of people about being detrimental to their own process by downing protein shakes like mad thinking they need all this protein to build muscle when in fact they're probably adding too many calories to their diet and adding a bunch of and, and building fat more than than uh, than muscle because they got too many calories in their diet. So um, luckily, I don't have to be the voice of reason anymore. <laughs> uh, my friend Brad P Brad Pilon, I, you've probably heard me mention him before. He's the guy who wrote Eat Stop Eat, um, the book about fasting. Well, he's also got a book called How Much Protein, and uh, he's just upgraded it, uh, updated it with the most recent research that kind of straightens you out about how much protein you actually do need to, to build muscle. It's not as much as you think. Um, supplement companies really, really, I mean, they, 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 they punch the button really, really hard because they're trying to sell product. Um, and so many people fall victim to this and then wonder why they can't get ripped. Well, I'm, I'm eating all this protein. Why, can't, why are my muscles not growing? And why do I still have this big layer of fat? Well, that's why. Too much protein equals too much calories, for starters. You, so anyway, my point is, Brad's, written, Brad's got this book, and it's really, really informative and really, really straightens you out on exactly how much protein you really do need to build muscle and or burn fat and get the body that you want. Um, so I'm going to stop being the voice of reason and just start sending people over to get his book because, um, quite frankly, I'm getting sick of nagging. <laughs> get sick of repeating myself um, when it's all just right there in one handy manual. So I'm going to link to that to that page where he, he where that book's available now. Uh, if you just want to go over to the page and take a look at it, there's a lot of information on the page too. Uh, you, maybe you don't even need to buy the book. Who knows? You can just look at the page. Maybe there's enough information there for you. But um, it's really, really, really worthy read. And if you're one of those people that's downing protein at an, at a, an alarming rate, hoping to build more muscle, I really think you should read it. I really, really think you should read it. So go grab it. Um, again, the link is down below uh, if you want to grab it. And, um, you know, after you read it, let me know, too. Like, come back here and link, uh, come to, to the comments box. And uh, let me know how, what you thought, you know, I, and let me know how, how much more open your eyes are after you read it, too, because I think that um, you'll have a very different opinion and uh, may even change the way you eat based on that or consume protein drinks anyway. All right, that's enough for, that for, for today. I have to get back to work because I'm still trying to get my book out, right? <laughs> Hot at home's coming, I promise. Um, so that's it. I got to go. I'll see you soon. Take care.